In this video, we're going to cover the standalone use of Insta360 Pro 2. Press the power button to turn on the camera. Wait for a few seconds. Then the power indicator will light up and the camera will start to boot up. There are six icons displayed on the main menu. Photo shooting, video recording, live streaming, Wi-Fi switch, storage device reading, and settings. You can navigate the camera menu by pressing up and down the switch button. Press the power button to confirm. You can return to the main menu by pressing the return button. Select the photo shooting mode on the main menu. It takes a few seconds to initiate the shooting mode. When the ready state is displayed, you can start shooting. Press up and down the switch button to adjust file sizes and press the power button to start shooting. There will be a 5 second countdown before each shoot. During the countdown, the status indicators will blink continuously with a sound prompt. If the real-time stitching function is activated, the camera will enter the processing state after the photo is taken. The indicator lights will blink quickly. When stitching is finished, the indicators will turn off. Select the video recording mode in the main menu. It takes a few seconds to initiate the shooting mode. When ready state is displayed, you can start shooting. Press up and down the switch button to adjust file sizes and press the power button to start recording. The indicator lights will flash continuously until the shooting ends. You can manually turn off the status indicators in the camera settings. Long press the power button to turn off the camera.